Uh, it is a case involving a controversial contractor. Local legal experts call the most egregious that they've ever seen. Well, hello and thanks for joining us here for 13 Action News Live at 6. I'm Todd Quinones. And I'm Trisha Keen. 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears found there's also a possible conflict of interest, leaving customers without the backing they might expect. End result, cases like this toilet repair that went down the drain. So what, what are we looking at here? Why do you have no walls and no floors? What happened in here? What happened in Harry Soon's bathroom started two years ago. My toilet leaking, so I, I called Ruderman. Today, his bathroom is still torn up. Believe it or not, when Harry wants to take a shower, he has to come out here to the backyard and use a hose and a bowl of water to clean himself. He can't even do laundry at home. It all started when a technician from Ruderman Plumbing said Harry's toilet leak was just a symptom of a much larger problem. And he says, uh, uh, your house is old. It's an underground, underground pap, pipeline. It's a crumble. Need a, need a dig out, take out, change a new one. A couple days later, workers from Bulmer Restoration showed up at Harry's house. And they come here, here they talk to me, they say uh, the water come out your, your toilet is uh, poison. Frightened and trusting what he thought were experts, Harry signed papers with the contractor. He was under the impression that he was just signing up for credit so that he can get the work started because he needs a toilet. He needs a bathtub. He needs a shower. Peter Goats with Legal Aid Center of Southern Nevada is Harry's attorney. He says they've heard from many Ruderman and Bulmer Restoration customers. And, and this is one of the egregious cases that we've ever seen, uh, leaving so many victims in their wake. Legal Aid Center filed a class action lawsuit alleging over the course of many years, Bulmer and Ruderman worked together to commit consumer fraud against homeowners. When homeowners insurance did not pay, they would walk off the job site, leaving the home in worse condition, then file a lien against the property. Turns out Eduardo Arredondo owns both Ruderman and Bulmer Restoration. Recently, he filed bankruptcy. He has more than half a million dollars in attorney liens against him from the same lawyer he used to file liens against everyone else. But declaring bankruptcy put up roadblocks around him as all other litigation is frozen until the bankruptcy is resolved. My lawsuit, um, actually all of the lawsuits, are, are, like you said, uh, really dead in their tracks right now. And we're just waiting for a resolution from the bankruptcy court as to whether any consumer that files a timely claim will receive any relief. The bond required of licensed contractors won't bring relief either because the board allowed Bulmer and Ruderman to have bonds of just $10,000 each. We would hope that uh, the contractors board would look at when licensing unproven contractors, um, that they don't set it so low so as to preclude some recovery for these consumers. In the wake of our investigation, the attorney general got involved and the contractors board finally suspended Arredondo's license in April. They claim they didn't have enough evidence to act sooner. But a former Bulmer employee raises questions about a possible conflict of interest. The employee agreed to talk on condition of anonymity because he doesn't want participation with our investigation impacting his current employment. He says Arredondo used a lawyer to assist him with homeowner complaints, an attorney who is one of three regular administrative law judges with, you guessed it, the contractor's board. And that's how he got advance notice of uh, contractor board complaints. Uh, that law office would help go through them. According to the former employee, the goal was to work out a deal to satisfy the homeowner. If you remedy the situation, there is no complaint. When a complaint doesn't reach the level of a disciplinary action, it's kept confidential per Nevada law. That's why the contractor's board says it can't tell anyone how many complaints are filed against any company, meaning homeowners are in the dark about the track record of licensed contractors, 
even though the Federal Trade Commission advises homeowners to check with state regulators for complaints about any contractor they may hire. As for Bulmer and Ruderman, Certainly their business practices don't appear to me to be uh, above board. Uh, we know that they were engaging in uh, deceptive trade practices. Uh, whether that was fraud or not, I can't make that call. Um, certainly it's something that was very concerning and resulted in a lot of harm to a lot of consumers. Neither Eduardo Arredondo nor his employee from Ruderman returned our calls for comment. The Contractors Board is expected to hear the case for Arredondo's license suspension in October. We'll keep you posted on that and check to see whether the Residential Recovery Fund will be of any help to the affected homeowners. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.